fun. And, uh, you know, the two games that come to mind this year, uh, when we won the regular season championship, they stormed the court, mm -hmm. which was uh, which was a very memorable. And then when we won the NCAA, when we won the uh, America East Conference Championship and they stormed the court, it was uh, just two very memorable uh, things that come to, come to mind. Yeah. Stony Brook mm -hmm. in the quarterfinals, which we had over a thousand people, a thousand plus people come to the game. Mm -hmm. And then the next game, which was the uh, semifinal game against Vermont, mm -hmm. uh, it was probably about 1,500 or so fans. And, and that's just and, phenomenal. Uh, All UMBC, UMBC fans coming to support the men's basketball, come support the organization. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, that we had two or three student buses come up. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their UMBC t-shirts on, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just a great deal of enthusiasm. We probably had, other than outside of Binghamton, we probably had the uh, the most people or the most fan support, wow. and uh, you know we're forever grateful for that. And also, one of our games against um, it was our last game that we played Binghamton when we played Binghamton on the road mm -hmm. uh, in January. We also had like two fans came up that I was unaware of. Mm -hmm. Two fans came up and supported us, so we're very appreciative of the support that we received from from our fans this year. Mm -hmm. Four of our five returning uh, starters coming back. Mm -hmm. I think we have uh, a good group of young men coming in, and uh, we have a very good support group that I think that is going to be uh, phenomenal. So we're excited about the next year. I think our players are excited about getting started so uh, you know we have something that that uh, we have to look forward to so uh, let's do it again is the motto so coach what do you think about the experiences your team has learned has learned this year and how they will use that to do it again as you say next year well I think the guys that we have coming back uh, had a taste of what it was like to play in the postseason, the America East Conference uh, quarterfinals, the America East Conference semifinals, and then to play in that championship game at home, which I thought we probably played our best basketball game of the season. Uh, you know, when you're playing a championship game like that, usually players know it's one and done. They don't necessarily play as well, but our guys came out and played with a vengeance. And, uh, Jason Green, Daryl Proctor, Matt Spadafore, uh, Justin Fry, uh, they all had a taste of what it was like to compete at, at a very high level, at a very intense level, uh, and I think that will definitely carry over and that has definitely bolstered their confidence.
Pip there it goes live. Mass Battle 4. We interview you. How do you feel right now? I feel great, boys. Great. We go to Disney World. I, I, I learned from the best. I, I learned from the best. Hey! You know we popping. Just me and Spaz will go at it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Spaz is a little better than me now, so. Hell yeah, that's what it is. Coming live from the game. Coming live. <laughs> This is live, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Hodges, signing his John Hancock. He's going down in history. Here we go, Brian. Real quick interview. How do you feel about the championship? I'm, I'm ecstatic right now, you know what I'm saying? I can't, worst game, and especially how I feel right now, you know what I'm saying? With four years hard work going out on top like this is great. Thank you for the interview. Thanks. This right here is True Grit, UNBC's mascot. I'm just going to interview him real quick. So how do you feel about the school spirit? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got it right there. I guess his words are golden. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and that's it.